it's time to make a mod. Hey guys, what's up? So welcome back to Let's Make a Mod episode 3 of the series. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys on how to update any version of your Minecraft mods into the latest version of Minecraft. Now I know that Minecraft 1.6 is going to be coming out, that's why I'm only going to be making one update video throughout my whole entire series of Let's Make a Mod Forge. Because the reason why I'm only going to be making one video is because you only need to know how to update your mod once. It's very simple and all I need is just one video to explain it. That's it. I don't need to make more multiple update videos all the time. So this is going to be the only video I'm going to be showing you guys on how to update your mod. That's why in the future you guys could come back to this video and it should be able to work in any version of Minecraft. Let it be Minecraft 1.6.1, Minecraft 1.7, 1.8, all the way up until this video gets outdated. But I'm going to be linking all of the latest versions of MCP and also Minecraft Forge in the description. So every time Minecraft updates, my download in the description is going to update as well. So you guys could just come back to this video and learn how to update your mod to any version of Minecraft. It's super simple. As long as you have a mod that you've made, you could be able to update it. So how about we get started updating our Minecraft Forge mod. So here is my Eclipse folder and my Forge tutorial uh, folder where I have my mod at. Now what you need to do is go into my description and you're going to click on the first link which is going to take you to my Minecraft forum, which is uh, right here. So that's my Skype. Hold on. It's going to take you here to my Minecraft forum. The reason why you're going to go here is because if you're in like a new version of Minecraft, then you could go here and find the latest version of your uh, downloads. So anyways, you're going to go here and you're just going to scroll down. You're going to skip this mod loader section. Just scroll all the way down till you see a picture saying forage right here. You're going to see episode three and if you open it up you're gonna see this right here it's gonna say downloads minecraft 1.5.1 downloads and also minecraft 1.5.2 so uh yeah if it's minecraft 1.6 click on minecraft 1.6 and get the latest downloads the download page should look like this so this is it right here it's gonna say setting mtp and eclipse and java jdk for forge 1.5.2 since we are gonna update to minecraft 1.5.2 this is the version we're gonna be updating to if it's 1.6 it should say 1.6 there anyways we're gonna scroll down and if you've already set up Minecraft Forge using JDK and also Eclipse, then you don't need to download the downloads for those as well. If you already watched Let's Make a Mod Episode 1, you don't have to download Java and Eclipse. So anyways, what you need to do is download the latest version of Minecraft Coder Pack. This is it right here. It's going to be the first download, Minecraft Coder Pack version 7.51. Just click on the Mediafire download and download it there. And also, I'm going to be linking the Minecraft Forge 1.5.2 source download. You click here, and it should be able to take you to the MinecraftForge.net. And here, you're just going to get the source. Make sure you get the source, and you could go AdFly or Direct to get the download of the source for the latest version of your Minecraft. Ours is Minecraft 1.5.2, but in the future, yours is going to be a little bit more different. But the updating and everything like that is going to be very similar. So anyways, how about we get started? And if you guys don't know where to get this download page right here, uh, setting up MCP, uh, look in my description. It's going to be the second link. All right. So anyways, let's go ahead and start updating our mod. So what you need is just MCP 7.51 and the latest version of Minecraft Forge source. So what we're going to do is make a new folder, right click new folder, and we're going to call this our new moddings folder. I'm going to call it Forge 1.5.2. I'm going to press enter. There we go. So inside this Forge tutorial that I made, uh, this folder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up and now I'm going to open up MCP. I'm going to open up MCP, move it aside. Now all of the files from the MCP zip, all the download, you're just going to highlight everything and simply drag it into that new moddings folder that you created. So you're just going to drag everything into the correct folder and that's it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and exit this off. Now this is our old Forge tutorial. This is where our mod is at. And we're going to be dragging in our source to the new moddings folder, which is called Forge 1.5.2. All right, so now what we have to do is we have to decompile our forge. But before we do that, we have to download Minecraft Forge Source. Once you have done that, double click Minecraft Forge Source and you should have yourself a Forge folder inside that Minecraft Forge Source zip. So with that folder, Forge, you're just going to drag it into your new moddings folder right in the main directory. So go ahead and just drag it in there where you see configs, doc, and it's going to say Forge and then it's going to say Eclipse and all that stuff. So there you go. So just make sure that Forge uh, folder is located in your new moddings folder. Anyways, what you're going to do now is you have to get your latest version of your Minecraft.jar. So you have to locate your Minecraft.jar because we're going to place it inside our jars folder. So in order to get the latest version of our Minecraft.jar, you have to go and open up your Minecraft game. 
So once you open up your Minecraft game, make sure you have no mods installed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just completely remove all of the mods that I have installed. I do have some mods installed, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of all of them. So what I'm going to do is go here to options and force update my game. So I'm going to force update my game to remove all of my mods. I'm going to click done and log in. So while this is downloading, I'm going to go and locate my Minecraft.jar. And in order to locate that, you're going to go here to the bottom left corner where it says start. And you're going to search percent app data percent. All right. So once you search percent app data percent up here, it should say roaming folder. Click on the roaming folder and you should see right here dot Minecraft in the very top in your roamings folder. So click on dot Minecraft folder and here it is our bins folder. We need to copy our bins folder. So here's my Minecraft game. I've already forced updated so you could quit that and you don't need it open anymore. Now we're going to copy over our bins folder. So go back to your dot Minecraft folder. You're going to right click your bins folder and copy it. So right click and copy your bins folder and make sure you don't have any mods installed. All right. So that's why we forced updated our game. So now that we copied our bins folder, what you need to do is go back to your moddings folder right here, your forge 1.5.2. You're going to open that up. So we're going to paste that bins folder inside our jars folder. So I'm going to open up my jars folder. I'm going to right click and paste that simple. So we just copied over our bins, pasted it inside our jars located in our new Monix folder. So if you open up this bins folder, you should see a Minecraft.jar right there. Now that we've already uh, placed our Minecraft.jar inside our jars folder, now we can just decompile using our forge folder. So uh, we're pretty much set. Now we have to open up our forge and now we have to click here install. So you're going to decompile the latest version of Minecraft 1.5.2. So double click install and let this download everything. If you got any errors from this point, then be sure that you didn't really uh, install this incorrectly. Make sure you have a fresh Minecraft.jar. You have to force up to your game. It's really uh, efficient if you do it that way. So just force up to your game and just make sure you get the correct bins folder and whatnot. And if you don't really own Minecraft, then it's gonna be really challenging for you. I would recommend just to purchase the game because I know a lot of you guys are trying to mod even though you don't really own Minecraft. Anyways, this is going to be decompiling itself. And if we go back to our new modding folder, you should see that there's a lot new things available. So there's a lot of new things that open up, such as a source folder, runtime. I think runtime has been there. So while this is decompiling, what we're going to do is get our source in our old modding folder. So I'm going to minus everything. And now we're going to get our source. We're going to extract it from our old modding folder. Here it is. It's called Forge Tutorial. I'm going to open that up. And this is our old modding folder. Our source is actually located in our source folder, believe it or not. So uh, you, there's two different ways of getting your source. Now, uh, both these ways are kind of simple. If you don't know where your source is located at, just go ahead and double click here, get change source. But before we do that, click right here, recompile of your old Forge tutorial folder. This is Minecraft 1.5.1. We're going to update it to Minecraft 1.5.2. And if this is like a new version of Minecraft, let's say you're trying to update Minecraft 1.5.2 to Minecraft 1.6, then you have to do the same exact thing. So just double click recompile on your old Forge uh, folder. So uh, let's just double click that and just let this run. It's going to recompile all of our source that we've been messing around with. So I'm going to go ahead and leave this just for a second and it should be able to work. I think it's working. So I'm just going to pause the video until it's done recompiling. Okay, now it is done recompiling. Now, if you got an error while it was recompiling, then that pretty much means that you had a red underline before you started uh, recompiling your mod. So that means you have to go back to your Eclipse folder and make sure that you don't have any errors while trying to update your mod. Make sure everything's fixed before you update your mod to the latest version. And there we go. Now it's done recompiling. And if you do have any errors, be sure to go to my help forums and post a topic, or you could go to the Minecraft development section of their forums and post a topic there as well. Anyways, you're going to press any key to continue. And right after you're done recompiling, now you have to click here, get changed source. So double click, get changed source. And now this is all of our source that was uh, recognized with uh, this command. Anyways, here's all of our source. Click any key to continue. Now we have a new folder called mod source. This is where our source is now located at. So it pretty much fetched all our source that we've been messing around with in this MCP folder. Anyways, how about we double click this mod source folder and go here to Minecraft. Now this is it. Here's our source folder. That's all you need. If it says your name on it, that's great. This is the package name of mine. Mine is SCM owns and then it goes to tutorial and then here's my class files. So anyways, go back to the Minecraft where it just starts your name, SCM owns, or uh, if you made a different folder, then yeah, just try to locate that folder. 
Anyways, ours is called SCM owns while well, mine is. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag over this SCM owns folder. Actually, I'm going to leave it here for a second because we still have to check if this new moddings folder is done decompiling. So let me check if it's done decompiling. I believe it's still running. You can see it's still doing stuff. Actually, it says done. There we go. I think it's done. Yeah, I, I believe it's done. Yeah, there we go. It's it's continuing. Never mind. So while this is decompiling and we've already got our source ready, so just let your Minecraft Forge new folder decompile and we're going to come back to this. Okay, so now it is done decompiling. It just says right here Minecraft Forge setup finish and it says click on any key to continue. Anyways, let me do a quick recap so you guys know what exactly happened. So inside our new moddings folder, we went here to forage and we clicked install. So while this was decompiling and adding in the new source to our new moddings folder, we went and got the source in our old moddings folder. So if we double click our old moddings folder, we ran a recompile so we can recompile our source and then we clicked get change source in order to get this folder right here mod source with all of our source so if you go to the mod source minecraft here's our source mine's named scm owns if you guys want my source then links in description i'll also provide a download for my source if you guys want it so uh yeah anyways now that we got our source now we have to add this source to our new moddings folder so here it says uh, click any key to continue so i'm just going to click on any key now i'm going to go to my new moddings folder double click that and what i'm going to do is go to source because i'm going to be adding in this right here our uh new what is it called our new source i mean our old source we're going to add our source to the new source all right that made no sense but let's just go to our new moddings folder click on source go to minecraft and here in minecraft where it says net and Paul codes and stuff like that. Just simply drag over your source folder into that Minecraft folder. There we go. So now it says SCM owns and inside there it says tutorial because this is the package name SCM owns dot tutorial and inside there was the source. So yeah. Anyways, once you've done that, go back to the main directory of your forge folder where it has been configs and all that stuff. And what you're going to do is click right over here recompile again because you have to recompile your old source to the new source so click on recompile and while this is going on it might say that you have some errors who knows we're gonna see if there is any errors so I'm gonna minus this while this recompiles because now what we're gonna do while that's recompiling we're gonna go back to our old moddings folder and get our old item pictures so I'm gonna double click our forge tutorial move that aside now I'm gonna go here to jars now I'm gonna go here to bin so in our old moddings folder, jars bin, we've made some folders. It's called blocks and items. So the reason why I made two new folders is because inside these folders, we actually have our item pictures, such as our topaz. So every time we're going to be making a new item and block, we're going to place it inside here so we don't lose them. So if we update our mod or even when we add in new items, we could just add them to these folders and then simply add them to our minecraft.jar later. So these are our new I mean, uh, th so these are our old pictures that we have to drag over to our new Monix folder. So I'm going to double click our new Monix folder, move that aside. Now I'm going to go here to jars and bin. So inside our new Monix folder, jar bin, I'm going to drag over the blocks and items folder into there. So there we have it. So now we just transferred over our items and stuff to our new uh, Monix folder. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and exit that off. And now we're inside our new Monix folder. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to add it to our minecraft.jar in our new moddings folder. So if you guys have any new items and blocks, you have to make sure you mod it inside this uh, minecraft.jar of the new moddings folder. So you're going to right click that minecraft.jar, open with winrar. So open up that minecraft.jar with winrar because we're going to be adding our textures. You're going to go here to the textures folder inside your minecraft.jar, double click that. Now inside here, there's items and blocks. What you have to do is simply override those two folders with your folders with items and blocks and drag them into that minecraft.jar and replace just press OK. And there you have it. So now we transferred over our images to our new moddings folder and we are now set. And let's go ahead and check on our decompiling. Let's exit off everything and check this. There we go. So it's done recompiling. Click on any key to continue. And once you have done that, you are set. You have a successfully updated your mod. We added in our pictures into our jars. We added in our source into our source. And uh, yeah, we decompiled with our forge folder and everything seems to be good. So now what we're going to do is go into our Eclipse folder because we have to run Eclipse. Open up Eclipse. Now double click Eclipse, the application. So since we added in a new uh, forge 
folder, our new uh, Minecraft modding folder, we have to make sure we set up our workspace on that new folder. So I'm going to show you guys on how to do that. It's very simple. So we're not going to be coding on our old moddings folder. You could just throw that away once you successfully updated your mod. And uh, yeah, so how about we just double click Eclipse and just wait for it to work. And remember, if you guys have any errors, then be sure to go to my help forums and just, yeah. Uh, if you guys post a comment, I'm not entirely sure if I could see it because there's a ton of comments. If you guys go to my uh, help forums and just post a topic and say where you guys got the error and whatnot, then we should be able to help. Anyways, this is our old moddings folder. So what we're going to do is go here to file at the very top, click on file, click here to switch workspace and click other. So file, switch workspace, other, click on that. And here you're going to browse for your new one. So click browse for your workspace. And uh, you're just going to scroll around till you find it. Here it is. So this is our old one, Forge Tutorial. This is our new one, Forge 1.5.2. Now, if it's uh, a new version of Minecraft, let's say Forge 1.6 or a Forge 1.7 in the future, then just do the exact same thing. Go to that new moddings folder, scroll down, and click on Eclipse right there. So you just have to link Eclipse to the Eclipse folder and press OK and press OK again. And there we go. Once you link it to the correct folder, the Eclipse folder, it should be able to work and open up. So how about we test out our mod and see if it did update. Uh, you could just click OK if anything comes out and just expand this. Now there is an error. We're going to double check that error right now. We're going to open up our Minecraft folder and there doesn't seem to be an error anymore. It just it just told us we had an error, but there wasn't really one. Anyways, open up Minecraft, go to source. And if you're able to scroll all the way down, scroll all the way down till you see your package scmowns.tutorial, double click that, and here is your source code. It's now in the new moddings folder. Whether it be Minecraft 1.6, 1.7, 1.2.5, 1.2.7, .1 I don't know how many versions of Minecraft there's going to be, but this is the only tutorial that you should be able to know on how to update your mod. Once you get used to this, you guys could probably be able to do this without watching this video. And uh, yeah, I said that kind of weird, didn't I? Without watching. So uh, yeah, you don't have to watch this video once you get very used to updating your mods. And that's pretty much it, guys. Everything seems to be able to work. If I press play, then Minecraft should be able to load and we'll be able to have our topaz inside our Minecraft game. So that's pretty much how to update your mod. And if there was any changes, I'm going to link it in the description. So uh, yeah, download the latest version in my description of your Minecraft. And let's just double check our Minecraft and see if it works. Go to single player, create a new world, and I'm going to go to creative mode. And I'm going to search my materials tab because that's where we placed our new item. And inside there should be our topaz. So come on, Minecraft. There we go. I'm going to press E, go to materials, scroll down, and there's my topaz. If you got an error where it says image not loaded, then you have to make sure you go back to when we imported our new images to our Minecraft.jar. Now, you guys should know how to do that. So if it says texture not found on the item block itself then make sure you go to your old moddings folder and you go to jars you go to bin and if you do have some folders called items and blocks then make sure to transfer it over to your new moddings folder jars bin here it is blocks and items and make sure you install both of these new folders in your minecraft.jar under textures folder so yeah guys hopefully everything seems to be able to work for you guys and this is the only tutorial i'm going to be able to make for updating your mod because it's all the same it's very simple and yeah this video is probably very lengthy because i wanted to explain it very uh, thoroughly i guess i'm not entirely sure if you guys understood it but anyways guys if you do need any additional help be sure to check out my other videos because i do have a ton of other let's make a mod update videos especially for the mod loader series so yeah anyways guys I'm going to go ahead and catch you guys later. Thank you guys for all of your support. See you later.